this class you work out some problems on coefficient of aggregation first what is meant by coefficient of aggregation or define coefficient of aggregation this is the ratio of the tractive force just necessary to slip the wheels on the track to the aggressive weight it reduces with increase in speed it is represented as mu or mu suffix a coefficient of aggregation is equal to the tractive force to slip the wheel on a track divided by aggressive weight or tractive effort to slip wheels divided by aggressive weight it is usually less than 1 the normal value of coefficient of aggregation with the dry rails is 0.25 and the maximum value is 0.3 when the track has been cleaned with the sand if the rails are wet or greasy the value lies between 0.15 to 0.2 now we will work out the problems problem number one a locomotive accelerates a 400 ton train up a gradient of 1 in 100 at 0.8 kilometer per hour per second assuming the coefficient of aggregation to be 0 0.25 determine the minimum aggressive weight of the locomotive assume the train resistance 40 newton per ton and allow 10 percentage for the effect of rotational inertia so we know that coefficient of aggression is equal to tractive effort to slip wheels divided by aggressive weight here the weight of the train is given 400 that is equal to weight of train plus trailing weight what is meant by trailing weight the part of the weight of the locomotive engine which rests upon the rear pads of the driving wheels is called the trailing weight g is given 1 in 100 therefore percentage g is equal to 1 by 100 into 100 that is equal to 1 acceleration is given 0.8 km per hour per second and the coefficient of aggregation is equal to 0.25 10 percentage of rotational inertia therefore accelerating weight is equal to 400 plus 10 percentage of 400 that is equal to 440 we know that reactive force is equal to 277.8 into accelerating weight into acceleration plus 98.1 into dead weight into percentage gradient plus dead weight into train resistance we know all the values substitute in the formula we get ft is equal to 1,53,025.6 newtons now f is equal to coefficient of aggregation into dead weight i can rewrite the equation f is equal to 1000 into coefficient of aggregation into dead weight into 9.81 therefore aggressive weight is equal to ft divided by 1000 into 9.81 into coefficient of aggregation we know all the values therefore aggressive weight is equal to 62.40 tons problem 2 a train weighing 250 tons is accelerated up a 1 percentage gradient with an acceleration of 1 km per hour per second. Determine the minimum aggressive weight of a locomotive. For this purpose, if the coefficient of aggression is 0 0.2, assume train resistance as 50 newtons per ton and allowance for rotational inertia 10 percentage. In this problem, train weighing 250 tons. That means total weight of train is equal to weight of locomotive plus trailing weight. Trailing weight is 250. Therefore, total weight of train is equal to W suffix L, that is weight of locomotive plus 250 in tons. And acceleration is given 1 km per hour per second. And the coefficient of aggregation is given 0 0.2. Percentage gradient is given 1. Train resistance is 50 Newton per ton, 10 percentage rotational inertia. Therefore, accelerating weight is equal to dead weight plus 10 percentage of dead weight. That is equal to 275. Therefore, accelerating weight divided by dead weight is equal to 1.1. I rewrite accelerating weight is equal to W into 1.1. And we know that tractive force is equal to 277.8 into accelerating weight into acceleration plus 98.1 into dead weight into percentage gradient plus dead weight into train resistance i can rewrite the equation 
Ft is equal to 277.8 into 1.1 into W that is 1.1 into W W E instead of a W E I can write W into 1.1 into A plus 98.1 into W into G plus W into R here W, W, W is common I take it out therefore tractive force Ft is equal to W into 277.8 into 1.1 into A, A is given 1 plus 98.1 into gradient that is equal to 1 plus strain resistance 50 now Ft is equal to WL plus 250 into 453.68 Now Ft is equal to 453.68 into WL plus 1,13,240 divided by 1000 into 9.81 in tons Here it is in newtons, it is in tons We know that the maximum tractive effort possible WL that is the weight of train is Coefficient of aggregation into WL. Therefore, mu into WL is equal to Ft. And mu we know that mu is a coefficient of aggregation 0.2. Point to substitute in this equation and find the WL. WL is equal to 75.08 ton. The answer is minimum aggressive weight of locomotive. That is W suffix L is equal to 75.08 newtons Problem 3 A good strain weighing 300 tons is to be held by a locomotive up a gradient of 1% with an acceleration of 1 km per hour per second Coefficient of aggregation 20% Track resistance 45 newtons per ton and effective rotating mass 10% of dead weight if axle load is not to exceed 20 tons, determine the weight of the locomotive and number of axles. In this problem, train held by 300 tons. Therefore, total weight of train is equal to weight of locomotive plus trailing weight. That is equal to W suffix L or WL plus 300 tons. And acceleration is given 1 km per hour per second. Coefficient of aggregation is 20 percentage that is equal to 0 0.2 Percentage gradient is equal to 1 Train resistance is equal to 45 10 percentage rotational inertia Therefore accelerating weight is equal to 1.1 into dead weight Or accelerating weight divided by dead weight is equal to 1.1 We know the formula Ft And Ft can be rewritten as Ft is equal to 277.8 into W into 1.1 plus into A plus 98.1 into W into G plus W into R Here W is common therefore I take it out Therefore Ft is equal to W into 277.8 into 1.1 into 1 that is acceleration is given 1 plus 98.1 into G, G is given 1 plus 45 Therefore, Ft is equal to W into 448.68 Here, W is equal to WL plus 300 I substitute in this equation Therefore, Ft is equal to 448.68 into WL plus 1,34,604 in Newtons So, I have to convert into tons Here, coefficient of aggregation into locomotive weight is equal to this is Ft. This Ft is W into L into 448.68 plus 1,34,604 divided by 1000 into 9.81 in tons. I know mu. Mu is given 0.2. 0.2 into WL into 1000 into 9.81 is equal to WL into 448.68 plus 1,34,604. I solve WL that is weight of locomotive is equal to 88.95 ton so if the axial load not exceed 20 tons therefore that value divided by 20 that is equal to 4.45 almost 5 so the number of axles required is 5 the weight of the locomotive is 88.95 tons